mankind ends now. <laughs> So I thought I'd make a new account that we could play through on, you know, this is just the the account I use for videos, I thought that would be fun. So on my other account I used um, Lamine, and on this one we'll go with Acer, but you know, I, thought it would, I just thought it would be a fun idea to do, you know, why not? Um, it's been a while since I did the start of the game. I kind of started playing and then I took a break immediately, because why not? Sorry, I was just reading something on the screen. Uh, confirm. It'd be interesting to see what kind of difference there is between the two. Lumine. Ah, Lumine. Just like that, the god took away. Ah. The god took away my sister. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. I guess I should just assume that most of it's going to be read out. How many years ago was it? I don't know, but I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone, until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that, otherwise Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going. I remember when I first played it, I was really confused. So it would be nice to not be so confused. Follow Paimon. I also played it without sound, so it'll be interesting to hear that. Ooh, sprint, jump. Ooh. Go to the foot of the cliff. Yes, I am following the mini map. Oh, lizard! I need those in my um my main account. I need so many lizards. The path ends here. Guess we'll just have to climb. Climbing depletes stamina, and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. Can I collect what things on the way there? Are you looking for exactly? I can collect them. Thank you. Ooh. I got some wood. Wait, was that a lizard? No, I think I just saw the her magic y stuff. Lizards. Of these statues 
creatures scattered across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods, this god controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but... Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's the reason why. Because it's the closest one? As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. Look, a little fella. Thank you for these berries. Oh, um. I will look at my inventory, thank you. Oh, wow. So empty. Oh, I kind of assumed they started off with a different sword, because I, there's a traveler's sword, isn't there? So I kind of assumed they would start with that. Dude, dude, we've got to do some swimming. Lizard! Yay. I don't really need the lizards on this account, but... Okay. Splish, splish, splish. Wimble. <laughs> Yay. when you got the power of animal as much as they may want it people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as uh-huh it's because you're not from this world to begin with if we keep heading west from here we'll eventually reach Mondstadt the city of freedom Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of animal So perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then. The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Ooh. Wimby, Wimby. Oh, I, I don't think I've ever done that. I did not know that was an option. It seems I am learning things. Ooh. Oh. Okay. That button just... I'm on. Wow. This is a lot of buttons. I don't want to do that right now. I don't think there's anything I can change about it at the moment. There's not. Achievements. Claim. Ugh. Okay. I don't actually care for reading update things. Um, event. Oh, I don't know how to read. What is this? Ooh. Some monies. Some wings. 
Ooh. That is actually a really awesome thing. Oh, well, this, isn't this the thing I already clicked through? No? Oh. Um, okay, not really that interesting. So, open character screen. Ah. Confirm. Thank you. And that's the only sword we have access to. Okay. Go to Monstad. <laughs> I keep forgetting I can't do the glidey thing yet. to go towards that is the question. Blunk, blunk, blunk. Beat up the slime. that mushroom. blown away luckily Paimon managed to grab hold of your hair thanks oh <laughs> just what was that Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten hmm it definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon yeah Paimon gets why you're worried oh what's that there's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Why are we gonna go have a closer look if Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about it? Blonk. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Why is my screen dim? Um... 
heading towards Monstead. Okay, I can do that. Ooh, mushroom. Ugh, another scene. Why must you stop me? Protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? <laughs> That's even worse than being a mascot! So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, oh thank you, Amber. Aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake. Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? A little bit, yeah. Wow. First character. Okay. Um, I don't want to... <sighs> Some of us are bad at aiming. Oh, okay. So, suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. Open character screen. Artifacts. Oh. Equipped, I guess. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I love all the little sounds it makes. Mushroom. Hello, little squirrel fella. Uh, a hilly turtle. Quick, get it. Right. Was that what she came out These here for? These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? 
Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camp so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed, and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helps make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Yay, items. Opening a chest is like unwrapping a gift. No, it isn't. Leave it up. What artifact? Oh, be two different types of artifacts. I would like some mint. Block. Do I have to do things in the order she wants them done? Because I would like to go over there. All oh, right, I don't, I don't have the glidey thing yet. I'm going on an adventure, and Amber can't stop me. Lizard. <laughs> what are you doing? Do 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 do. Hello, little fox-looking fella. Hello, Wimble Wimbledon. What direction are you going in? Swan. Ooh. Is this an answer from this world? No. <laughs> I have two notifications on Discord. Ooh. Shut. I can see it. Blink. Oh, it's one of those consolidated wind things. That sure is a word for it. Back to the statue of the seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Why would I go back to that one? You come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. Why would I go back to that one when I could just go to this one right here? It's a statue of the seven. Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Wow. Oh, or was it telling us to go to this one? I thought it was telling me to go backwards to Starfell Lake. But no, this is the one they meant. Thank you all. Um, worship statue. Offer. Ooh. Oh, I don't really want to look at this. Oh, I've never actually looked at this. I didn't know it looked like this. This is pretty. Um, I thought I had an achievement. I guess I already did that and immediately forgot. They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. Into the statue's eyes. Okay. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculi never had a physical form from the start. 
people with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world oh. don't apply to you anyway, so... I didn't realize that they didn't have one. I was confused when I was playing in it. They said they didn't have one. So the traveler just has the powers without having to have an actual vision. It's weird. Um, I think if I just flop down, it'll take all my health away. Oh, cool. I can ignore what the what the the quest is as a treat. I guess um, the sooner I get there, the sooner I can use up all those um, things I got. Bloom. <laughs> I just think it's fun doing that. Blonk. Enjoy being dead. Oh. Can you... Why isn't it shooting you? Okay, I'm just going to climb up your dumb little tower then. Hello, I am here. Thank you for the monies. My nose is itchy. I'll keep this close. So we can actually number these ones. Cool. I don't need to do any of that. We can actually number these Genshin videos and have them go in an order. Wow. Um, I'll probably do some grinding, not recording, but um, I want to keep the majority of it on camera. You know, so if anyone ever goes, hmm, that Kenshin game looks interesting, but I don't think I actually want to play it myself. Or maybe you just don't have time to, you know, you can um, watch this and draw at the same time, maybe. Because I, I know I'm always on the hunt for videos that I can watch while I'm drawing. Okay, probably close range is not the way to do it. Kabinga. Yay. Artifacts. Equip. 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 That's fun. We can level up some more. Yeah. A chest. I think you need to use fire to open that. Or can I? No. I never really understood how that thing works. Does it? It blows up. Okay. There's also a slime hanging around behind us, I guess.
Blonk. We'll definitely be needing iron chunks later. Sorry that this first video is probably going to be annoyingly long, but um, I'm kind of not doing good at staying on target, you know, strictly following the quest. There's Mum's dad. Paimon, we're not following your nose. Actually, I guess we are following your nose. Ooh, an apple. What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No, we just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smells good. I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. That's okay. Let's see what you can do. Okay. You get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Do you often just set up random people to do some do some cooking for you? I made you three of them. Is it done? Mm, smells good. Let me try. Mm. 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 Uh, uh oh. Now that's really tasty. You are indeed gifted. Raymond told you so. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon! Yay. Is that enough that we can get this one perfected? Because I do like having them perfected so that I don't have to do the manual way. Yay. Easy peasy. And we can make a fried eggy. And a chicky. Sweet madam. Okay. Onwards we go. I'm gonna scare your birds. <laughs> I want dandelion seeds. Dandelion seeds. Hee <laughs> hee. Line it up so we get both of these at once. Yay. Now we enter Monstead. 
Hello, fellas. Introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Pavonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Mm. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitro camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. Take the open quest menu. I already know how to do that. Huh. When do I meet Gaia? I would like to see him. I would like to see my this little lad. bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there, they haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. Oh, I remember when I first started playing, they didn't my character didn't have enough stamina to just climb up that wall. So I guess I will use the stairs. Runny, runny, run. <laughs> Or was it up there? Though? I didn't. Don't know. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> Seraphina is sitting on my shelf by me, and she's looking quite happy and content, with her little eyes shut in her little loaf mode. I already opened the map. Get rid of your little. Yeah, I've seen it. I know the teleport waypoint is there. Um, so, the present I want to give you is a wind glider. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Uh, alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. So do people outside of Mondstadt not have them? Because I know I definitely use them everywhere outside of Mondstadt, but do, do non-Mondstadians not have them? Or... Um... Sorry. Oh, was I meant to glide the whole way? I glided the last bit. Blonk. 
<laughs> the sky. Ooh, here he is. Seems like a bad time to be in the sky when there's a dragon around. Huh? How are you staying afloat like this with just a wind glider? I'm preventing your fall with the power of a thousand winds. Oh. Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. I don't, I don't, I don't remember this part of the beginning of the game. I always do that, open chat accidentally, because it's just right where my palm sits on the tablet screen, and it's, it's not the most convenient. Is he going to fly off now? Waiting on another loading screen. Waiting on another loading screen. to go up against the dragon are you a new ally or a new storm storm terror is attacking Mondstadt itself Kaya traveler you've come at the right time we must hold on Amber are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us oh right this is Kaya our cavalry captain these two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. But everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Um. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. He has such a slinky voice. Like, he sounds like a slinky that you'd push down the stairs. 
Um, okay. Um, I think I will actually end the first video now though, because I can't be talking on forever. So, tia tia, see you in the next.